Okay, let's kick this off with a little flip. That was a satisfying one. Uh, you know when sometimes you just do that and you know it's gonna be a good one before you actually even friggin' do it. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! So, as of late, I have put up three question boxes in the past two weeks in the with the intention of doing or filming this video, this very specific video. Um, there's been a lot of change. This whole entire series is called Change In My Life. And naturally, as someone that shares as much of their life as, as I personally do, people have a lot of questions about said change and what's going on and why and all this kind of stuff. Questions that I have left unanswered for now nearly 30 episodes of this series, which is just freaking stupid because it's like two videos a week. That's 15 weeks worth of, of, of content where I haven't answered any of the questions that you guys are going to have. So I put up some question boxes over the past couple of weeks and I've taken the most frequently asked questions because obviously every single time I put this up, I meant to film it and then I just wound up doing something else. It, ju it does just go like that sometimes. But today we're going to be answering the most frequently asked questions about the changes in my life. Starting with when are we going to get an apartment tour? Obviously, I have moved from the city to the city centre in Birmingham now. I was just outside Sutton Coalfield. It was great. I had a great couple of years there. It did the job good. It served me well, that flat did, right? But now the new apartment in the city center is awesome it's great it's a level up for for me for the business for content creation for everything right but you guys haven't seen it yet i've been there three months three four months now and you, have, you haven't even seen it which is just quite frankly laughable um so when are you going to get it one when i've done a little bit more decor when i've gotten rid of a couple of things or got permission to get rid of a couple of things because they're not mine um the previous tenant or the previous landlord or whatever it, they're theirs but i don't want them but they're just lying there in my flat and i can't get rid of them um obviously without permission so i'm waiting on permission to get rid of some things bring in some new stuff put up some pictures things like that you know but if you guys are interested in seeing a tour before all of that maybe i could do maybe i could do two number one being like how it is now in its unfit state well not unfit state it's a really cool and really nice apartment but like it's just not fully furnished to the to the decor standard that i would like you know i want some more plants i want some more pictures just to make it a bit more homey before i show you guys you know the the apartment properly um plus it would take someone else to come and film it with me which is an added stress all, all of my friends are pretty freaking busy you know that most of my friends are self-employed like myself right most of them are working on their own businesses if they're not working they're not getting paid right and so they're not going to come and just spend half an hour filming necessarily with with me um to, to help me kind of film the video, you know? So getting someone to film the video would be um, the biggest struggle with that. But I, I could I have people that I could ask. It's just I know how busy everyone is right now. And I know how bit how when I get busy, if someone asked me to do that, I would just think like, oh, fuck. Like, it would stress me out, you know? And I don't want to be the cause of said stress for any of my mates. So that will be coming when it's furnished and when I get a chance to, to help for someone to help to film. The next question is, I think title worthy for this video. Um, and people ask it so much, so in person, in DMs, in comment sections, everything. I get this a lot. When or if or am I moving to Texas? Why Texas? Well, it is no secret. My love for Alpha Leets, my love for Alpha Land, my love for all things just Texas, basically. I went last year and I fucking loved it. I did not want to come back. I just loved it every single second of it. I was in my element. I was still doing all the things that I know and love. I was still creating videos. I was still training. I was training more, way more than what I am right now. You know, everything was just, it was in perfect harmony when I was in Texas. And so I do get asked a hell of a lot if I am moving to Texas because I love it that much. I've never known a more common question in the past six months. Of, well, there's been a few things, but before I go on some mad Texas run that you guys just don't care about, would I love to move? Yes. Is it feasible right now? No. Why? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I have a 12 month lease on my current apartment. Um, I'm only a third of the way into that. So realistically, the earliest I could get out of it would be six months. Um, and that wouldn't necessarily be my idea. It would be the landlord's idea. If I try and get out of that contract in the next eight months, it's going to cost me a heck of a lot of money to do so. Um, and I'm just contractually obliged to be there for the period of the 12 month contract. Um, what happens after that? Who knows? Change is going on left, right and centre with quite frankly, every single aspect of my life. And that's a great thing, but it's also a lot to kind of take on board. And so whether I would want to move specifically to, to America right now, whether that timing is right in my life or not, I'm not sure. 
Um, but in six, seven, eight months, when that time comes around, maybe, maybe I'll know. Who knows? It could happen. It could happen. I'm not going to lie to you, it could. But with that in mind, with that move in mind, that does kind of tie me into the next most frequent question um, about my business, about what I'm doing with my business, about how I feel with my business, how I want to progress with it, what the plans are for the future, right? And obviously, if I move to America, I am very much set in, in Birmingham right now. I have a lot of clients in Birmingham, consistent clients in Birmingham. My business, my life, everything is here right now, right? So obviously, if I was to move, that would drastically change. I would essentially have to start from scratch. It would be a whole different system. I don't even know how self-employment works in America, to be honest with you. I haven't researched it, which is one of the reasons why I can't just move, you know, because it, life just doesn't work like that. You need to know what you're doing before you kind of take these things um, by the horns, if you like. But um, plans for the business over the next few years are to keep scaling it in the same way that we, that we are doing right now. I'm getting to the point where I cannot take more workload. I'm taking on too much. I need, in fact, need to learn to say no to certain things because it is causing me anxiety, stress, and just... I'm only one man, I can only do so much, you know, so I need to learn to say no within the business. But when you are self-employed, you don't want to say no. If you're not working, you're not earning, right? If you aren't working, you aren't going to earn any money. If you are working more, you are going to earn more money. So of course, my rent is now higher than it was before. I have my car to pay for. I have my bills. I have my food. I have everything to pay for myself, me, myself and I in the middle of Birmingham, in the big city, you know, which is great. But it means that I don't want to say no to certain things because it means earning more money. But realistically, when you're self-employed and you're at that point, that means that you are of a demand, a level of demand to increase your prices, which is what, instead of just keeping the prices the same and taking on more workload to earn more money, because I'm fully booked, essentially, I need to increase my price. That's just how it works. But I've not really done that in the past properly. So it's a difficult situation for me to approach one with consistent clients and two with new clients as well because they they expect a, a lower price than normal from me which is what you do tend to get you know so I do need to learn to say no within um, personal and business situations to be honest because sometimes I have done things personally which have set me back because I didn't want to say no to go and see a friend or something like that but I should have because I had work to do if that makes sense um, but then there's the whole work life balance and it's just a whole situation you know it's very difficult I really find it very difficult to believe that anybody has the perfect balance I'm getting there and I'm definitely learning what that kind of balance is and what it means for me um, especially as of late the past couple of months or so I've really really worked on myself, on self-development to kind of learn that aspect of and how to incorporate that into my, my life, you know. So, um, yeah, learn to say no. But if I was to move to Texas, what would happen with the business? I can't really answer that right now. So, yeah. The next question is one that I appreciate, one that won't be a title. I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but am I okay? Like personally like am I good you know you're good bro sort of thing like I think a lot of people especially the consistent long-term subscribers and thank you guys for this I really fucking appreciate it like it means a lot like th thank you you know people asking if I'm okay I uploaded a video a few weeks back um which basically it was slightly depressing um but it was just me ranting at the camera which is one thing that I do to make myself feel better it's almost like an escape for me it's just what I do i get into this creative headspace and i just forget hopefully in the same way that you guys do when you watch my own videos you forget what's going on in your life for that 10 or 15 minutes and then you can just go back to normal or whatever you know but you get that little escape when i'm filming and when i'm editing it's one of the reasons why i love it so much it's why i do my job right one of the reasons i love it so much is because it gives me personally that it gives me that escape you know um, and that might sound weird to some people, that's just the way that my brain works. But I uploaded this video and, and a few people were concerned and I appreciate the concern. But yes, I am very good. Life is very good. I was just feeling a bit crappy in that moment. And because I share everything and because I have my upload schedule and because of everything else, I needed to upload. And that was just what was going on in my life. That was the headspace that I was in. That is just what I needed to share because that is what was going on in my head. I couldn't put that mask on on that day and be happy and be smiley. I just couldn't, right? And it made me feel better through having talked about it, um, which is great. So I hope that it provided some comfort for some people who might feel the same. Um, I know it would me if I watched the same video of someone else. Um, you know, so I hope, I hope someone took something 
from that. But yes, I am good. I am okay. Thank you for asking. I feel like I've just been a little bit confused for a little while. Um, obviously, this series is called Change, and not much has changed in the type of content. Like, I said that the channel name was going to change. I said that the days I was going to upload was going to change. My life was going to change, which it has. But, like, not much structurally or not much physically has changed. Um, and I'm making a very conscious effort to do so. And if you follow a close follower of the channel, you'll already know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm making a very conscious effort to make that that change now um, because I feel like the lack of change in, in the videos is, is very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I guess symbolic of me kind of not really knowing what's going on or how to deal with it or how to embrace it or how to make the most out of it, you know? Um, I feel like the lack of change in the videos symbol, quite literally symbolizes what is going on in my brain, you know? Um, it feels the same, but it's different, and I don't know how to explain it fully, but am I okay? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for um, for asking. So finally, these questions are kind of the same. What the hell is going on? Just the same old, same old, to be honest with you. The same old stuff, but on a different day, you know? Um, I have a lot of work to do, a lot of work that I need to crack on with doing, and, and goals that I want to hit, both personally and professionally, by the end of the year. I am focusing on doing that, you know? I wanna get back in the gym because training is non-existent right now. That is due to injury, I've had a bad bicep. It feels okay now, not too bad, but I'm not exactly gonna be going, what are you know, like whatever. <laughs> Put it this way, I'm not gonna be overhead pressing 100 kilos on a barbell anytime soon. However, I would like to get back in the gym, get back into the pump. All I've been doing is a little bit of cardio. I've been getting plenty of steps in. I've been doing my cardio on my bike and stuff like that. Just when I get fat, but my expenditure is so low, I've had to change my diet and everything like that just so I don't get fat because I'm not training at all. So I'm not burning any calories. Um, and obviously I used to train four or five, six times a week. Obviously it's life dependent, goal dependent and just work dependent, which I hate it when people say, but for me right now at this point in my life, it is work dependent. So, you know, hey ho, swings and roundabouts. I'm going to get back in the gym um, and that includes today, I think hopefully. <laughs> I also promised that best gym videos will come back, but as soon as I promised that, I busted my bicep and here we are like six weeks later, which is a pretty normal, I'm pretty sure I did like a small tear or something from the advice that I got from my mates that are pretty well qualified and me just knowing my own body and injuries that I've had in the past and stuff. I'm pretty sure I had a, a small one, not like a major thing, but I'm pretty sure I tore it somehow. Um, I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happened. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, going to get back into training and life is going to crack on because the show must go on. We must turn up every day, regardless, whether you want to or not, whether you feel like it or not, you must rock up to work and get it done, especially when you're self-employed, flipping heck. You don't work, you don't get paid. So that's it, ladies and gents. That's my 15 minute rant. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know by leaving a like. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the comment section down below, whether that is a best gym video, a gym near you, whether that is an eating challenge, whether it's a training video. I'll leave the canvas blank for you other than those ideas. You let me know what you want to see and I will get on it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you listen to this 15 minutes and you have not already liked the video, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, stick around. You know, we're on a level, you and I. Stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. And I will see you in the next one. Yep, yep.